first we boil the water, what we want to cook is these uh, Chinese egg noodles. Okay. Well, I'll put it in after the water's boiled. So what we can do in the meantime is make sure your vegetables are prepped. So I'm only cooking for myself, so I think half of this is enough. And you want to take out the core. Normally there are fancier ways to do this, but yeah, it's good enough. We get old chef. We ain't we ain't that <laughs> that mainstream kind of thing. And then you just want to cut it in like very small pieces. It's actually pretty important that you keep the small uh, the pieces small because the bigger they are, uh, the longer it takes to cook. And this is a very very fast cooking dish. It takes about like five minutes max to cook it. Um, you can add like whatever vegetable you want. I personally like it to like be very colorful. So add bell peppers. Carrots and then a little bit of green onions at the end. Are you enjoying my uh, sick? This is very impressive. Sword work. Very nice. You know what they say about a guy that could uh, wield the sword? Wield the sword. I don't. Can you wield the sword? No. As well as I can. Definitely. I, I can show you later, man. <laughs> I'm blushing. Oh, it should be. What's that you cook? Uh, green onions. It's actually a, a pretty stable ingredient in a lot of Chinese dishes. But here in Sweden, it's fucking expensive. And then I have a little bit of uh, what do you call these? Beans? Beans uh, bread? Yeah, I, I don't think this is working. It's, yeah, it's not working. Yeah, that's uh. Oh yeah, I'll show everyone your rice cooker. Oh yeah, check that out. <laughs> It took like what, like four weeks, five weeks to get that thing? A couple of weeks. You know, fun fact, Bruno doesn't know how to cook uh, with a rice cooker. Really? Yeah. He was uh, asking me to show him how to, how to cook rice. You just put it in it. Yeah. I'm like, Bruno. He's a really good chef though, otherwise. Yeah. You know how to make Half-Life 3, but you know how to cook. <laughs> Why is my water not boiling? No, it is. It is. Okay. It bubbles for me. What are you doing there? Uh, so what I like to do is making sure my garlics are cut into not bits but small pieces. Uh, it's not exactly necessary for dish dish, but uh, it, it, it brings out a lot of flavor. So I personally like garlic a lot, and it's really healthy. It makes it taste awesome as well. In Chinese cooking, instead of using these pans, we have this thing called a wok, which is like a more like a round thing. But uh, they don't have that here in Sweden, or I don't want to pay like a billion dollars for it. So I just use whatever they have. So once the water's boiled, dump it in. Amazing. Amazing stuff, man. This is where magic happens. This is heated. And once you hear the pan, or you feel the pan's like pretty heated, you can start putting in uh, the garlic. You don't want the thing to be very very hot if so like the onion starts to darken and they get bitter so like a moderate heat amount and then you just put it in and again this is just for flavoring you don't you don't need to really cook it well the noodle goes for like four or five minutes or whatever your package say these are four or five minutes so once you like smell the onions can you smell the onions oh it's fucking good smell good so you want to put the hardest vegetable in first uh, give them like the most cooking time. These are supposed to be in thin strips, but mine looks like fucking holes. Because <laughs> my sword work needs a lot of practice. You could knock them on it with them. Like. Yeah, man. Yeah, and at this point, after you just have all the ingredients prepared, it's very, very simple. You just like put the ingredients in, cook 30 to 30 seconds to one minute, and then you put the next ingredient. From the uh, like the firmest to softest ingredients. So 
some chefs like to put more oil as you put in more stuff. But uh, I don't like to have too much oil in my food. It makes it too greasy. It doesn't really taste good. So. Technique. Since these are vegetable or that are a little bit harder, you could cook for like maybe a minute to 90 seconds longer. Is this cooked? Fantastic. How did you tell it you were cooked? What's that? What did you do? You put the chopsticks in. Oh, I was just checking, picking it up to see if it's actually cooked. Well, it's not like every time the Asian man uses a chopstick, magic is happening. Just, I'm just <laughs> checking on it. I thought there might have been a fly that might have... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. just killed the fly and um, <laughs> kept it out. Generally, you want this portion this portion to be done before you actually start cooking. But, uh, you know, sometimes life is unpredictable. So what you want to do is get the noodles uh, not flaming hot, and get them cold. Normally you want to dry the noodle a bit. It's actually good to basically do this maybe an hour or two hours before we actually cook everything. Really? To make sure the, the noodles is dry. Because this is like a dry dish. Uh, but since we're hungry. Normally, when you're drying, the noodles tend to stick together, and that's not what you want. So you mix a little bit of sesame oil into the noodle. Lube them up. Yep. Oh, you know about the lubing? Yes, I do. Damn. You, you gotta teach me about lubing later, later on. So, I personally don't mind if my noodles is a bit wet, but if you like the... <laughs> if you like the, your noodle dry, then, uh, <laughs> then uh, you know, you wait a bit. Thank you, Shane. That's, uh, that's exactly the, the prep that we're going for. So these are looking pretty good. The color is pretty nice. It does look colorful. I like my food very colorful. When are you gonna put these things in? This is very, at the very end, because these cook very quickly. It's much more for like a, a little bit of topping with you. Ready for the wet noodles? Or Show me the money. Or the dry ones? The semi dry noodles. So, right now, the dish is very lacking in terms of flavor. Mm -hmm. So, you haven't put anything in just yet. And then you can kind of garnish it however you want. The traditional way is to have soy sauce, and then again, there's like a light soy sauce and a dark soy sauce, but two gangster man. Okay. And then you could just like you can mix it really well, which is traditional way of doing it, or you just serve it more like a. Like a noodle dish, if you want. And it's pretty much done. I'm gonna taste. I don't think I'm mixing it properly. Just a bit more. The kitchen looks really clean today. Yes. Because yeah. uh, we usually keep it very clean ourselves. We're yeah, very yeah, clean we're, people. We're very clean. Organized as well. So, uh, I usually just turn off the pan before I even finish cooking the dish. And use the residual heat to cook it. Cook the rest of it. I just... Again, you can put more like pepper or salt or whatever powder you like. Keep mine pretty plain. And 
Yes, sir. So Shane, you tell me, I can make like minimum wage passing Dota, mm -hmm. or I can make like nine million euros a year doing yes. this. Doing this. I'm gonna be in the Asian chef. I, I thought that like high in demand in Sweden, they don't have that here, right? Yeah, true. I'm like the first one. I could open an Irish restaurant as well. We could be billionaires. There you go. Done. Healthy. Probably tastes really awesome. It looks fucking good. There you go, that's Xiaomi. Any final words? What? Oh, okay, I'm not a big mouthful because this looks good. Look at it. Mmm. Let's go. It's good? Mm. Describe the taste. What's going through your mind? Vegetables. Good vegetables, look at me. I'm really happy with the vegetables. I'm going to right now, man. I'm going here. Uh, Yo, fuck your Dota game, man. You gotta eat. Yo, yeah. this is this is important. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wow, good. Right. Fucking perfect. Good reviews. The two judges were really happy.